Hello, this is Tandy Burroughs, Councilman District 4. Today we'll be doing a tour of District 4. I'm going to show you some of the new things happening. I'll give you a little history. Hope you enjoy our time together and um, hope you learn a few things. The councils have talked about how can we revitalize our downtown area. Well, two years ago said, hey, let's get started. And this is what we've done. The city has invested over $6 million in this front street, which will bring in new parking, also infrastructure, grease traps that new restaurants can use. One of the big things keeping restaurants out of our downtown is a big expense was the grease traps. So the city is investing to help our bring in some new restaurants. Alejandro's, one of the first new restaurants that will be going in in downtown Mesquite. Come down, hopefully this will be done in February. Uh, it's going to be a great asset to our downtown and a start to the next phase right into the downtown area. Metzger's Trophy, one of the first businesses to take advantage of the new facade grants. What a difference, just some paint, some new lighting, a new sign, some new awnings. And this is happening all over the downtown Mesquite area. I think you're going to see a big difference over the next few years, making it a place that many people will want to come and visit and eat at our new restaurants that will be coming in. A lot of people don't know, the old timers do, but some of the new people coming to Mesquite don't know it, but there used to be a fourth side of our square downtown. Back in 1972, my dad started a business and this was his first storefront. Next door to it was Dixon Brothers Pool Supply, which moved just down the street now. There were only two sign companies in Mesquite, one on this side of the square, one over where the other side next to McCorder Green Hall, that was George Edwards Sign, Sign Company. Tom Morenz, owner of Smiley's Racing. This used to be an old Payless Cashways building, sat here vacant for years. But Tom, who owned Smiley's in Box Springs, moved his business here, rehabbed the old building, and made it into what it is today. He'll know his buildings because he has a big red star. The red beige and a big red star. That's kind of his signature. Takes great pride in making sure they look good. In fact, you'll see Tom out mowing the yard or picking up trash because he wants to make this the best city ever. Here at the new Wave Wash. It's a brand new drive through car wash. People in this area can keep their cars clean, don't have to go all the way to the north side to clean their cars. We got a lot of other great things happening in this part of the district. Just a mere three years ago, we got a new Walmart grocery store. Now it's not in my district, but it's just across the line, but a lot of my constituents shop that area because it's close. They can even walk to that area. Breaking news, I just found out today, the old Taco Bell, that's gonna be a Starbucks. Don't have to go all the way to North Mesquite anymore. Come right here, District 4, and get your Starbucks coffee. In District 4, we went a long time with no development in our area, but lots of great things happening in District 4. Iron Horse development. We have 350 new homes. The new signs have gone up with D.R. Horton, who will be building those homes. Also, 150,000 square feet of restaurants, retail. Don't know exactly what that's going to be yet, but it's coming. As a 30-year veteran of the Mesquite Fire Department, I worked at the old station for, not near as nice as the new one. It worked for a long time, but this new fire station is a great thing for this area, and we're proud of it. Right next to our, our new fire station four was an old abandoned building that had been sitting vacant for years. Now we have a beautiful new church that had gone in, bought the building, used part of it, but built a brand new sanctuary and added onto the old building, which makes this area look much nicer. So here we are in another area of District 4, the Millstream subdivision, right here at Galloway and Newmarket. I want to point out, I had several constituents in this little subdivision that made contact with me. I said, Councilman Burroughs, what can you do? We have this wall that goes around our subdivision. It looks terrible. Is there anything the city could do? So I went to city staff. I went to our city manager and worked with code enforcement and city staff. And guess what? Now we have a new painted wall. Now you say, what's the big deal? It's just a painted wall. Well, if this old wall was around your house and you had a chance to make it look nicer, wouldn't you want it to? But that's what council members are for. They're here to help the constituents. So it doesn't matter how big or how small the problem is. Let your council member know. Let me know if you're in my district or if you're in any district. Let me know if you need help 
and I'm glad to be there to help you. I'm ending the show today. I'm glad you went on our tour from District 4. So if you have any questions, any comments, my contact information you'll see below us. And uh, feel free, contact me. The only way I know that you need help is if you contact me. So please, contact me whether it's large or small. Let me know how I can help you because I'm working for you. Thank you for spending a day with us.